Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are going to talk about two special kind of networks in Docker, uh, host and null. Null is sometimes also called none network. So with host network, what you exactly do is your container is able to share the same network namespace as your host where it is running, right? And uh, trust me, it's not a Docker best practice to run your containers in your host network from the security point of view, right? So you would have very rare use cases to run your containers in your network namespace of your host, right? Uh, so yeah, so let's see how we basically uh, start a container in your host namespace. So first let me do IP add a show. <clears throat> so you see this, right? So when we'll start a container uh, in the same network namespace as our host, we would get the same output inside our container as well. Right. So let me just clear the screen. Let's see Docker images. So what all images I have. All right. So I'll start our CentOS container. So Docker run hyphen DIT or I could just do hyphen IT. And then I would say hyphen hyphen network. And in this I would give host. Right. So I want this container to start in, I mean, with the, in the same network namespace as my host. Then I would give the image name and the process which I want to run. So you can see I'm inside the container directly, right? So now if I do IP adder show, you can see it is exact replica of what you saw when we did the same command on our host. You see it got the same IP the same MAC address, it even is showing the Docker zero bridge uh, network, right? Because it's in the host network namespace. That is why we are able to see everything which we were able to see on our host. Let me clear the screen and let exit out of our container. Container is dead. Yep. So this was an, I mean, the, this is not very important running your container in your host because you would rarely do it, right? Rarely. So yeah. So that was one. Uh, now let's talk about the null network or the none network. So like I told you, when you start your container, it by default starts with bridge networking. So if you don't want that, you have to specify that your container should start with no networking at all, right? So let's see how we do it. So we'll do the same command, docker run hyphen it hyphen hyphen network. And in this, I would say none and then CentOS and the process bin bash. So I'm inside my container. So if I do IP adder show, you can see it's only giving me the loop back, right? That's, that's the only networking which it has. So if I do IP adder show ETH zero, say ETH zero does not exist. So yeah, so this is this basically completely isolates your container. So there's no networking inside the container. It cannot communicate with your host. It cannot communicate with any other container running on your host, right? All right, so yeah, so I've, we've covered what we wanted to in this video. Uh, I want to show you one more thing that uh, containers which are running in the same network namespace, they are able to communicate with each other without any special uh, networking needs, right? So I'll show you how. So let me do docker network ls. So what we are going to do is we are going to create our own network and to create your own network you got to do is docker network create and we need to specify the driver. So what kind of driver? So I'll create a bridge network and then the network name. So I'll say my net. Oh, sorry, it's not hyphen hyphen bridge, it's hyphen hyphen driver and the driver type is bridge. All right, so now my network is created. Let's do, you can see my net is there, type is bridge, right? All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two containers uh, in with this network namespace. So let's do docker run hyphen dit hyphen hyphen network and network name is my net and CentOS. This is the image which we want to use, right? Let's do Docker PS. And 
let's go inside this container first so docker run hyphen it slash bin bash oh sorry docker exec so i mean i think i'm allowed to make these mistakes right yeah so ip adder show so let's get the ip of this uh, so this is the ip right of this particular container now let's exit out of this and let's run another container so yeah so we'll run the same command and let's do docker ps so we have two containers running right so let's go inside the new container which we just created docker exec and let's do ip adder show so this has got another so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to ping this ip okay let me clear the screen i'm going to do is ping so this is the ip of our container which we created first and you can see the ping is going so we didn't have we don't have to do any special ip table changes or anything the uh, basically the containers running in the same network namespaces are able to communicate with each other and this is the same concept which uh, things like kubernetes and docker swarm actually make use of right so we'll do a course on kubernetes so i'll explain the kubernetes networking in detail but for now i think yeah so this is what i wanted to show you in this video i hope yeah this is it for this video i hope you like the video guys uh, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and yeah thank you for watching